so today we are going to have a story time and today's story is a gruffalo chai by julia donaldson and axel sheffer okay children and in this story there are characters that is a daddy gruffalo baby gruffalo and mouse fox owl and a snake okay children so let's begin so the Gruffalo said, look in the picture children, there's a daddy Gruffalo and a baby Gruffalo. So they're having a discussion now. The Gruffalo said that no Gruffalo should ever set foot in a deep dark wood. Why not? Why not? Because if you do, the big bad mouse will be after you. I met him. I met him, said the Gruffalo. I met him long, long time ago. What does he look like that? Is he terribly big and terribly bad? The Gruffalo child is asking that. I can't quite remember, said the Gruffalo. Then he thought for a minute and he scratched his head. The big bad mouse is terribly strong and his scaly tail is terribly long. His eyes are like a pool of fires and his terrible whiskers are tougher than wires. One snowy night, when the Gruffalo snowed, the Gruffalo's child was feeling bold. The Gruffalo's child was feeling brave, so she tiptoed out of a Gruffalo cave. The snow fell fast and the wind blew by. Into the wood when the Gruffalo child. Aha! Oh ho! Who is this tray and where does it go? A tail poked out of low pile house. Could this be the tail of a big bad mouse? Look here, children, there is a tail that's poking out of a wood log. And the Gruffalo child is thinking, is this of a big bad mouse? Let's find out. Come on. Out slid the creature. His eyes were small and he didn't have whiskers, no, none at all. You're not the mouse. Hiss. Not I, said the snake. He is down by the lake eating Gruffalo cake. Hiss. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wide. In I am not scared, said the Gruffalo's child. Aha, oh ho, marks in the snow. Whose are the claw marks and where do they go? Two eyes gleamed out of a treetop house. Could this be the eyes of a big bad mouse? Look here children, there are the two eyes that are gleaming out of a wood. So the baby, gr baby Gruffalo is thinking, are these eyes of the big bad mouse? Let's find out. Down flew the creature. His tail was short and he didn't have whiskers of any sort. You're not the mouse. To who? Not to I. But he's somewhere nearby eating Gruffalo's pie. To who? The snow fell fast and the wind blew wide. I'm not scared, said the Gruffalo's child. Aha, oh ho, a track in the snow. Who, are, who is this track and where does it go? Whiskers at last and an underground house. Could this be the house of the big bad mouse? Look at your red, there is a snow house. And the Gruffalo child is sneaking into a cave and he's thinking, can this be the house of the big bad mouse? Let's find out. Out slung the creature. His eyes weren't fury. His tail weren't scary. His whiskers weren't wiry. You're not the mouse. Oh no, not me. He's under the tree drinking Gruffalo tea. It's all a trick, said the Gruffalo's child. Has she sat on a stump 
were slowly piled. I don't believe in the gruff big bad mouse. But here comes the little one out of his house. Not big, not bad, but a mouse at least. You'll taste good as a midnight feast. Look here children, there's a mouse. He found the mouse at the end. And now, let's see. Wait, said the mouse. Before you eat, there's a friend of mine that ought to meet. If you let me hop onto the hazel swing, I beckon you, my friend. So bad and big. The gruffalos tried and clenched the feast. The big bad mouse, so he does exist. The mouse hopped into a hazel train. He beckoned me, then said, just wait and see. Out came the moon. It was bright and round. The terrible shadow fell onto the ground. Who is this creature? So big, bad and strong. His tail and his whiskers are terribly long. His ears are enormous and his, over his shoulders he carries a nut as big as a boulder. The big bad mouse yelled the Ruffalo's child. The mouse jumped down from the teaser tray and smiled. Aha! Oh ho! Prints in the snow. Who are these footprints? Where do they go? The footprints led to the Gruffalo's cave, where the Gruffalo's child was feeling a bit less brave and the Gruffalo's child was a bit less bored and the Gruffalo snored, snored and snored. So children, this is the end of the story and the story's moral is you shouldn't stray away from your house so you should always reassure to parents okay the parents should reassure that children should not stray, stay away from house okay children thank you